Hello guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is just a quick video regarding Worcester boiler. Um, if you are having any issues with uh, with the Worcester boiler that hasn't got enough pressure or not warming up your radiators enough, um, I would suggest. Um, I well, I had the same issue uh, once I, I turned the heaters on uh, this winter. I didn't get any heating through, and uh, also. As you can see here, when you flip down this, uh, the pressure is also quite low. It's on just above zero there. Really should be just um, on maybe touching the green, uh, the green bits there, just maybe where number one is or just above it. But, um, and then also over here, you have the, the heater um, picture there, which is, which is, this is, it should be in about 75 degrees, should have full bars there and uh, also the hot water, if you press the down arrow, should show you about 60 degrees, which is recommended. Uh, so if you've got these showing, these numbers, these degrees, you should be fine. Um, but what I was uh, going to show you is about this, so in order to get the arrow up, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it on this one, but the uh, only way that you can do it without calling a plumber to come out and uh, and charge you for it is just under your boiler, you'll see these, these two here. And what these do is release the pressure, the hot water. So, um, you, so you'll probably have these two or you might not have them and you'll just have something like this as a screw on each side so what you'll do so if you don't have these get a screwdriver and then just turn this pointing up and leave it for a few seconds keep an eye on the arrow over here at the same time uh, I did it earlier so now it's going up slightly so but really what you should do, just turn this, leave it for a few minutes, few seconds, turn it up again, and that should move the arrow uh, to a position where you need it to be on the green. But don't leave it for too long because it's not recommended. So I would say just above zero where, the, where it is now. Uh, the same goes for this, cold water, uh, but mainly you just want to, in the winter, you just want to deal with that one with the hot water. So just uh, basically touch the, um, if you touch the pipes itself, you'll see which one is the hot one. So, and then you just um, turn that knob instead of the cold one. I hope you find this video helpful guys, and hopefully you'll be able to um, warm up your, your rooms uh, this cold winter. Uh, also, um, what I would recommend is maybe check the heaters themselves. Uh, usually the heaters need bleeding after not being used for a while. Um, th that also has an, a special knob that you might have to purchase. Uh, you can also do that yourself. Uh, I'll probably make another video on how to do that. But uh, hopefully you found, found this uh, helpful. And give me a thumbs up or leave a comment if you find this helpful or not helpful. Um, I would really appreciate it. And please, guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It would really, really, really help the community grow and other people who um, need to warm up this winter. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.